Meta just announced some mind-blowing news. Whoa. They've just released three new AI tools that are gonna supercharge your Facebook ad results. They're going to make it so much easier and quicker to create Facebook ads, but only if you know how to use them the right way. That's what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video. So Meta first started talking about these three new AI tools back in July. They said they were testing them at that point, but they are now being rolled out. Obviously the tests have gone well, which is great. Now I should say, as with all new Meta features, we're not going to get everything all at once. You may have one of these three new tools, you may have two, you may have three, you may have none. They will be rolled out at some point. You just have to be patient with Meta. I'm not exactly sure why they do it this way. It makes creating content very difficult, but I just wanna let you know in case people are going through this and thinking, that sounds great. I don't have this yet. You should get it soon. Okay, with that said, let's, um, let's go through the three. So the first is image outcropping. Now that might sound like a, a new and slightly weird word. What on earth is outcropping? Outcropping is taking your existing image and adding on what would likely be, in this case, above or below it to make a new image that looks better in that placement option. So let's say, for example, you've got an image that is square and you want to be able to run that as an ad, it will run square on feeds and things like that, that's absolutely fine, but you want it to be able to run in a more vertical format for stories, reels, where that's more appropriate. Well, one of Meta's new AI tools is going to take that image and extrapolate what would likely be above and what would likely be below that image using AI. It's pretty cool, pretty sophisticated, and it will make your images look better within those more vertical placements like stories and reels, which is going to help your results. So I'm gonna quickly show you how this actually works. So to demonstrate this, I'm in an example Facebook ad account, I'm in Ads Manager, and I've just created a quick example campaign. I'm at the ad level, I've got create ad, I'm gonna use an image here. So we get down to this ad creative, I'm gonna click on add media, add image. I'm gonna grab this roughly one-to-one -one format image and I've created one like this on purpose so you can see uh, how this process works, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and select the originals um, for these various placement options, particularly this, this storage placement option. You can see we've got one-to-one -one format. So this is a square image that we're actually using. If I go ahead and click next and we'll see that at the next section here in this part of standard enhancements and all that sort of stuff, we've got expand image. Now, if you wanna know whether or not you've got this feature within your ad account, you want to come in here and check out this expand image. And you can see that what's happening here is that Meta is creating other aspect ratios, other formats based on the image that we've got. And that's what image outcropping refers to. They're putting the part that would be above the image and would be below the image in using AI to make that image look better in certain placement options. So for example, even here, we can see that this isn't um, fully optimized for say stories or reels on the right hand side, but it has taken our square image and that is not square. That is more elongated because that's gonna take up more space in this case within say the Instagram feed is the example that it's given. And that's going to help encourage clicks and help our, um, our ad perform better. We have seen this also apply to fully vertical formats as well, but it's a brand new feature. They're still working out things. It hasn't automatically generated that for us in this example. It's just done one of one for, for expanding that out. Now, why this is exciting is that if your images look better in certain placement options, like stories, reels, they're going to perform better, but often it can be difficult to get all those different image formats. It can be difficult to have like a square version, for example, or even a, a landscape version and then turn it into a portrait version. Do you blow it up and zoom in and it doesn't look quite right? Or do you get other the images created that often isn't possible depending if you're using previous images or stuff like that. This is a great option, a really clever little AI tool to take whatever image you've got and try and make it look as good as possible in other placement options. And we know how important stories and reels are both in Facebook and Instagram nowadays when it comes to, to ad placement. So that's a little demonstration of that. We can then just click done and that'll be um, added into our, our ad campaign. And um, yeah, not the most exciting of the three, but just wanted to quickly show that because it is kind of fun. Very quickly, I've got some really exciting news. I've launched a new mentorship program to help you explode your business revenue and profits through paid ads and marketing. Now in this mentorship program, myself and my team will mentor you daily, literally every single working day. And because of that, spots are very limited. So if you're interested, you can click on a link in the video description below and book a call with one of my team members who can explain everything about the mentorship program and how it works. I'm really, really excited about this and I hope to be working with you and mentoring you very soon. So that new AI tool, the image outcropping, is available in some but not all of our ad accounts as I was just able to demonstrate. The next one I'm about to talk about, we don't have available yet in any of our ad accounts, but I know it is available in some. So I wanted to create a video talking about in part about this alongside the other stuff because some of you will have this and will be able to use it and some of you will get it very very shortly and that's text variation so similarly to google ads if any familiar with google ads they now have ai features that allow you to input a bit of text 
and then other suggestions are automatically generated based on what you have inputted. So these will be things like headlines, primary text, and things like that. One of the new AI tools that Method has added is this feature. Now this is great because A, it's going to help us come up with more variations of headlines, primary text, and things that we can therefore test. And we know that the more testing you do, often the better results you're going to get. But also we know that Meta is going to be able to use the vast data at its disposal to make suggestions that are likely to perform better than what you would have written yourself. If they know that certain words, certain sentence structures, certain things are more likely to convince people to take action, then they're going to suggest those because at the end of the day, Meta wants us advertisers to get great results because if we get great results we spend more so they're highly incentivized to do so so still create your ad in a similar way where you are inputting your headlines your primary text but if you do see options come up at the ad level for suggestions from meta obviously take a look at them and and have a go through and think are these ones that actually applied oh that's a good or oh, that's good or oh, that's a different angle or that highlights some of the benefits in a different way i wouldn't at all be surprised if we start seeing better results from some of those suggestions than what we're writing as advertisers simply because meta has so much data and they know what convinces people to take action all that sort of stuff so i'm really excited about this one in particular i think this is going to be a bit of a game changer for advertisers particularly those that don't often know what they should be writing headlines what they should be including in primary text if they're newer to, to the advertising space, they can take advantage of some of this. And it's only going to get better over time as Meta learns and provides more suggestions and sees what people do use and don't use and how that then performs. So yeah, this could be a real game changer when it comes to Facebook ad results and, and leveraging AI to put our best foot forward and get the best possible ads in front of our prospects, which will give us the best possible results. We haven't got confirmation on this yet, but I believe it's highly likely that Meta will also pull from our landing pages. So wherever you're sending people after they click on your ad, that could be within Meta, but often it's going to be to your website, to a specific landing page, something like that. They're going to pull the information from those pages and then use that to inform suggestions around what you should include text-wise, whether it's headlines, primary text, etc. So again, that's extra help, that's extra work taken off our hands as advertisers, and it may get to the point where we don't even need to put any primary text headlines in ourselves, Meta will just work that all out based on from those other sources. I think that's probably, that step's probably a little bit later down the line, but it will most likely happen. And in the meantime, we can take advantage of the variations based on what we're inputting uh, manually at this point. So uh, yeah, very exciting. And we'll see what happens with this feature. Now, this third new AI feature is again, one that unfortunately we don't yet have in any of our ad accounts, um, but I do know that it is being rolled out and some people do have it. So again, I wanted to talk about it. It's really important. And a lot of us are likely to get it very, very soon. And that is background image generation. So this right now is being rolled out with catalogs in mind only. We think it's it's going to start there and then be expanded to other formats. Again, not in every ad account, we don't have it even where we're using catalogs, right? But what background image generation is doing is allowing us as advertisers to provide text inputs and then for Meta to create a background image that can be used to look great and highlight our products and make them look better and all that sort of stuff. I think this is gonna be really great for e-commerce businesses for now, but it's gonna obviously expand out. And with those e-commerce businesses, often what we'll see is that an e-commerce business, they have images of their products, right? And they're using them to run their Facebook ads and the background is really quite boring. <gasps> To be able to use this feature to swap in different backgrounds to test new color variations or things that are really quite different that would actually be really difficult to actually take a photo of um, and just have Meta do that without you having to pay for like a photo editor or anything like that. They'll just do it all within Ads Manager is again really exciting. You could look to include really interesting backgrounds that really make your ad stand out on the feed. So I know that some of the people that have already got access to this, one of the things they've been looking to do with their e-commerce product images that perhaps just have a white background or a simple background, it's on like a wooden desk or something like that, is they've completely switched that out and they've um, used like city skylines as the background and made their image pop out of it. Just something that looks visually very different. And as you're scrolling through your Instagram feed, scrolling through your Facebook feed, and you see that pop up, it's going to grab your attention because it is so different and not something that you could actually get like a photo of. Um, and we know that the first part of any Facebook ad creative is to actually capture the prospects attention and then once you've got their attention you have a much greater chance of them checking out the other elements and seeing well not whether they're interested and whether they want to come through and purchase so again this is something that saves advertisers a lot of time 
potentially saves advertisers a lot of cost as well because you might only need to get the one set of product images taken as opposed to hiring a photographer every you know three months six months whatever to get different images taken in different locations you can just get the one set taken and have ai do the heavy lifting in terms of putting in background images and things like that and because it's based on text inputs it's really straightforward. You can be like, oh yeah, I would like a New York skyline to be displaying my certain, behind my certain product and really making that stand out. Or I would like something that's uh, like a sunset or something a more natural setting or, or, or all those sorts of things that you might come up with that might work really well with your products, your branding. You can play around with a load of options and just instantly text input, boom, image is going to be generated very quickly. Go ahead and upload that, see how it performs as an ad without all the cost of actually having to get someone to do that for you and the time and all that sort of stuff. So there's a lot of potential with this and I think it's particularly beneficial for beginner advertisers who are gonna be able to use these AI tools to bring their ad creative and their ad copy, you know, both the text variation AI tool and the background image generation, um, being able to bring those up to a certain level and, and make it much more likely that they're able to uh, to get results. And I think that this is only a sign of things to come. A lot of people in the marketing industry are afraid about AI sort of taking over and making them less necessary. I don't think that's going to be the case for a very long time. I think that what it's going to allow us to do, those of us that are paying attention and keeping up to date with all the latest new features, is we're going to be able to stay ahead of the competition because we're going to be able to use this stuff and it's going to help us create ads much easier, much faster, do a lot more testing, create stuff that looks better than what other people can do, um, and that's gonna help with our results, gonna give us a competitive advantage, and that's all really exciting. Hopefully we actually get these new AI tools soon, I'm sure we will, and hopefully you do as well, and we can implement them, we can test them, and we can see uh, how they're performing. And these new AI tools aren't the only new features that we've been given as Facebook and Instagram advertisers recently. Meta has recently launched a brand new way to run Facebook ads, a completely new way of doing things, and I'll show you exactly how it works in this video. Now this new feature that I cover in this video is available in nearly all ad accounts at this point. If you're serious about generating great results with Facebook and Instagram ads, you really need to know how this works. Go ahead and check it out.